Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Neil Gibson, and I am a counselor at Cleveland High School, and we're putting this presentation together to help you forecast for your classes at Cleveland High School for next year. We hope it's helpful. The actual slideshow has a lot of links to it that is going to have some uh, important information that's going to be helpful for you to make the choices. So we're just going to get right into it here. Um, these are some videos that we hope um, you might watch. I'm just going to get my pointer here. Um, this is the Bridging the Gap video is the new one for this year. These are two videos from our two leadership uh, classes that were produced last year and are still very relevant to uh, all of the great things that are happening at Cleveland High School. And then this is an old one from the past, a golden oldie, if you will, um, from 2016, which is a good one to watch as well. Uh, please review this slideshow or um, watch this welcome video, which you are right now. So thanks for joining us. Um, and then the, there's lots of links to the course guide throughout this presentation and on our website, which has full descriptions of classes, um, as well as IB information and lots of other nuts and bolts about Cleveland High School. And at the end of the day, you must complete the Google forecasting form. That is the only way that we're going to know what classes you want to take next year. So please, at the end of this, um, the last link you're going to find on this slideshow is the Google forecasting form. So please make sure you go there at the end um, and fill it out. So a couple things that are really important here. Uh, I want you to know that middle school counts everything that you're doing in middle school. You're developing the skills. Um, the habits to become a successful high school student as well. Um, study skills, organization, time management, critical thinking, interpersonal skills, all of the things that you do to manage yourself during the day with your teachers, with your peers in classes, getting your homework done, um, those are all super important and they're going to serve you well, not to mention the actual knowledge, the stuff that you're learning in your classes. Um, you're going to need that. That's going to be super important to be building on that knowledge next year in high school. So keep doing what you're doing. Um, and it's all really important and it's going to serve you well next year in high school. There are some things that you're might, many of you might already be doing in middle school that is counting for high school next year. If you are in a Spanish class or a French class, or if you're in compacted math, which is algebra one, two equivalent, um, you could be eligible to get that credit on your transcript for next year at Cleveland High School. Um, so for example, if you're in Spanish one, two now in middle school, you could forecast for Spanish three, four. If you're in compacted math or algebra, you wanna be forecasting for geometry. Whatever you think um, you might be forecasting for double check with your teacher at middle school is going to be really important in, in eighth grade uh, and they will likely have a recommendation we recommend that students uh, you want to be looking to be uh, earning a, a B or better in your class um, to be to move on to the next level we just feel like that kind of supports students best um, when you're coming to high school we know that at Selwood Middle School um, y'all are offered and many of you are taking two years in seventh and eighth grade uh, language in French and Spanish. If you want to proceed to the third year of French or Spanish here at Cleveland, we'd really like you to watch this video down here uh, to get some more information of what that would look like and how that might impact the world languages that you take um, here at Cleveland. Some of the supports we have at Cleveland are academies, which I think a lot of you know about. Your English, history, and physics teachers work as a team. Uh, it's our way of creating a small uh, learning environment in a big high school. They, have, uh, they, they meet together, they plan together. Uh, you'll have a lot of the same students in some of these classes, so it's also a great way to make new friends and meet new people. Also, your counselor is attached to the academy, uh, and then your counselor will follow you through the next four years. So um, that's one of the coolest parts about being a counselor in high school at Cleveland is we get to follow you all the way through your high school career. 
A couple classes that you're going to be signed up for automatically are two semester classes. Health One, we continue uh, with health. We know that you've been taking it through middle school. It's a little bit different in high school. Uh, everyone takes that. It's a graduation requirement. And the other uh, required class that's paired with health is the ninth grade inquiry class. And this has been around for a while. The name is new. Um, but you're going to be thinking about what you want to be doing in high school. What are some of your strengths? What are some of your um, maybe blind spots that you want to grow into while you're in high school? And also you'll start exploring some career interests and some things that you might want to do after high school, which is hopefully going to inform you what you might want to do in high school. So those are two classes that you're going to be uh, scheduled for automatically. Some other support classes that we have are AVID. We have academic skills. Uh, those are for students with IEPs. Uh, it might be called a learning center class. Um, students who are learning English, uh, you might have an ELL, an English language learner class here at Cleveland. Uh, and we also have an elective class, algebra intensive, uh, for those students that might want a little bit of extra support in algebra. Um, you'll have the opportunity to indicate on your forecasting form if you are a part of any of these programs. And if you want to sign up for that algebra intensive class, you'll be able to do that on your forecasting form. This is the list of graduation requirements that you'll need by the end of your senior year to get out of high school to graduate. Um, most students graduate with more than 24 credits. Uh, you'll be required to take eight classes next year. So if you pass all eight classes in one year, that's eight credits, and you'll already be well on your way to earning these 24 credits to graduate. English is the only subject where you need to be taking that class every year. Every year you need to be taking uh, a language arts class to reach that graduation requirement. You'll be seeing, students will be seeing this chart a lot. Um, you'll be reminded of it constantly by your counselor, uh, and it's one of our big jobs is to make sure that students remain on track to graduate in four years. This is kind of your typical schedule of what it's going to look like. Like I was saying before, English, history, physics, and that health ninth grade inquiry class, those will all be automatically uh, selected for you. Uh, what you need to be focusing on is what math class, which PE or SST uh, class, you're get, with, whether you'll take PE or SST. Um, PE is a graduation requirement and most students will take that in their ninth grade year. Many students also take a world language class. Um, if you decide not to take a world language class, remember you need two years of a world language to graduate, you could start that next year as well. And in that case, you would have space for two elective classes in your schedule. Most students, though, find that they're forecasting for a math, a PE, and a world language, and that leaves them with one elective spot left. This is uh, going to help you, I think. There's some videos here and some presentations made by teachers about some of the elective classes. We have some English elective classes, uh, lots of art classes, and some CTE, career tech education classes. Um, there's descriptions, again, in the course guide. Um, but these are some videos here to kind of help you learn a little bit more about what those classes are, uh, are like. And this is the last bit. So please, if you have any questions, uh, first of all, review this presentation. Look through the course guide to see if you can find your answers there. Check with your middle school counselors. They're probably going to be some of the most accessible folks for you um, in your buildings to ask questions. They're pretty expert on the forecasting process as well. Your teachers, specifically your math teachers and your language teachers, check in with them about what they think would be a good um, class to forecast for. Use the Padlet. If you have questions, you can ask it on the Padlet uh, and review it from time to time. There's some frequently asked questions that we've already put on there. Um, and then join us in uh, towards the end of January 18th and 19th. Uh, Cleveland counselors will be hosting help sessions on those two evenings. Uh, if folks have uh, any lingering questions about anything about Cleveland High School, how to fill out the forecasting sheet, any ins and outs of certain special situations that you might have coming in, uh, please join us for those help sessions. We're happy to help and answer questions. And as promised, 
the last link on the slideshow is the Google forecasting forms. You can go there, tell us which classes you're interested in, uh, and there's little, little uh, videos along the way and instructions on how to fill that form out as well. So I hope this was helpful. Um, please ask questions if you have them. And we, the counselors at Cleveland High School and all the staff here, really look forward to seeing you next year. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you.